Martin. Johnny, thanks. Appreciate it. Sounds like for the most part, everyone is being safe in Livingston Parish. Not many folks trying to get out in this mess. Thankfully, because that's one of the places that is typically hit kind of hard when this kind of weather blows through. Our Jaron Jordan is live there this morning, has been for a good while. Jaron? Matt Lauren, good morning to you guys. We are along River Bend Road here in French Settlement and take a look. This is what we're seeing after hours and hours of this rainfall and just within the last couple of minutes, the rainfall has picked up water, high water, almost all the way up to my knees. And as you go down River Bend Road, it gets even deeper. If you've been with us on Nine News this morning, we were reporting from further down in the road uh, back there earlier this morning and the water was even higher. Residents here say that this is something that they're used to when it rains like this. Uh, one resident even put it, he said, sometimes you live on the bayou, sometimes Sometimes you live in the bayou. I want you to come over here because I want to show you. You really can't see where the old Amy River starts and where these docks and these camps began. And that's because of the high water levels after all of this rain. Again, no injuries reported here in Livingston Parish, but Parish President Layton Rick says that two people had to be rescued just uh, around the Satsuma area. But those are the only uh, 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 things that the uh, parish officials have had to deal with. 30,000 sandbags have had to be deployed across the parish. But again, residents, at least here in French Settlement, saying that this not out of the normal, but they obviously don't want to get out in this. If you uh, have to be out, just be cautious. Again, if you come across roads like we just saw, turn around, don't drown. We'll send it back to the studio now to Lauren. Yeah, you guys be careful, Jaron. Thank you very much. Some school districts and businesses will be closed today as a result of the stormy weather.